This is so epic. Uh, I'm the only person out here. Take a look. It doesn't matter if I'm wearing white shoes on this black sand beach because there's nobody out here to judge me. I have my own private beach access. Uh, this is this is insane. So, welcome to Bali. Hello everyone, welcome. I'm Trevor Hawley with Bali Textured Property and we have a pretty impressive villa to show you today. We're taking you around Bali showing the best that Bali has to offer in luxury villas. And today I'm sitting here in front of Villa Tantangan in Tabanan, Bali. Villa Tantangan is managed by the Lux Nomad, one of Bali's premier luxury villa management companies. A very special thank you to the Lux Nomad for letting us check this place out. So uh, before we get started here, make sure and like, and subscribe and let's go ahead and see the sprawling lawn the uh, amazing rooms and this unreal view uh, that i'm sitting here looking at right now so sounds good uh, let's go ahead So we're starting here in the parking area. Uh, it's a little bit of a drive to get back here, but you see some, some beautiful landscape. And as we come into the driveway area, we've got parking here and uh, some amazing stonework and these gables and trees. I mean, you know that you're coming into something special right from the, the very beginning. So we have a three bedroom, three bathroom villa, accommodates up to six guests. It also has a library that can be expanded into a fourth bedroom, uh, which I think is, is pretty cool. The villa has a private chef, so you can stay here. All the food's taken care of. Full service staff is ready to go and help you out with whatever you need. So let's go ahead and start walking through and I'm gonna take you through this amazing entrance. This is like the perfect venue for weddings. Uh, it's certainly a popular place for any sort of big events. There's a ton of space. There's a ton of things to see. So let's go ahead and just start walking in here. All right, so coming out from the parking area into the main entranceway, I really love the stone, uh, the white stone stairs with the lighting on the side. So we've got, you know, the lily pads and water plants uh, and a lot of courtyard areas. So there's just a lot of space in this villa between the bedrooms. Uh, we've got bedrooms over here, uh, another bedroom, guest bathroom, main living room, you know, it's it's a lot of space. So it's uh, just a wonderful environment to be able to walk around, uh, enjoy the nature, listen to the ocean. It's all happening right here. And then as is uh, customary, hey, hi, how are you? <laughs> so we get our complimentary refreshment towel and looks like today watermelon juice. Yeah, ah, thank you. So this is complimentary with Lux Nomad service as well. So thank you so much, Terima Kasi. And I like this little juice hat here. I love it. So, <laughs> um, so already I'm, uh, I'm good for the day. I feel great. Uh, I've got my watermelon juice. I'm already standing in what I can tell is going to be one of the most amazing scenic views I have had yet to see in Bali. Uh, follow me. And I also got a note. I love how they've incorporated so much nature into this. They utilize actual stones as part of the stepways as well. So. All right, so we're coming around here into the open living area, and this place is all about open space and open living. But this is uh, the way it's designed. We've got open air coming through, still protected. You know, there's a couple speckles of rain uh, coming through earlier, but we're nice and comfortable inside here. And uh, a lot of lounge space. So I love the white round stones. Uh, you know, the, the design of this is very cozy. It's very traditional Bali with some bright colors. Let's keep walking through. There's a dining room table to my right here. If it's six people, so a nice place to have a meal. Chat about your next uh, startup venture. I love the fact that there's different layers in this villa, you know, so you're really, um, there's just a lot of flow and different spots to explore here too. So, and there's little seating areas everywhere. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and jump into the media room here. And I love the, the use of the natural volcanic rock as a step. And we open up the glass doors.
and we've got air conditioned space. And uh, man, I love the, the furniture in here. The really comfortable spot, nice natural, these, these wood tables. I mean, it's, uh, this is really cozy. It's almost like, I almost feel like I'm in a, a mountain lodge somehow, but with these glass doors that open up to the ocean, uh, this is, uh, yeah, this is just fantastic. I also love in this room, there's uh, access to all the different areas. So there's another, there's two glass doors on either side here and a glass door here. So it just, it just flows around re really well. So um, let's get out of the media room here and then go check out these bedrooms. So we've got, we've got bedrooms on either side of the main living space here. I think let's go ahead and look at one of the guest bedrooms over to my right. We'll kind of walk around this pathway. So as I come to this bedroom, we actually walk by the kitchen. Uh, let's circle back and we'll check out the kitchen after we check out this first guest bedroom. So as I'm coming up the stairway to this bedroom, um, I noticed there's this design, like a tree design in, built into the wall with glass windows coming out, which is uh, uh, really cool. I'm sure it looks, looks pretty impressive from the inside here. So again, when I come out, I've got this amazing view of the black sand beaches, but uh, here we are in this guest bedroom and we've got a day bed on the deck, right? So already this is a place for some serious uh, hangout time. And then uh, we have massive glass doors. I mean, it's just all, it's just a full wall of glass uh, that we go into. So, you know, this, this villa is built on the concept of having the best views that you can get in Bali. All right, so we've got this huge uh, double sliding glass door to enter the bedroom here. Right away, I just noticed it just feels very, very cozy. Uh, it's also incredibly quiet in here. You know, I can still hear the waves a little bit, but this has sound engineering behind it so that you're really, you're just, I don't know, you're really cozy in here. So, um, got the main bedroom area, and then, uh, and we do have this tree built into the wall with the glass. So this is, uh, man, it's so cool. So I'll step up into the bathroom here. Um, we've got a massive counter with double sinks. So And um, then we've got shower and toilet on either side. And I just, I love the openness. You know, this villa is just constructed. The design of it is openness and sections and a lot of just space and comfort and flow. Uh, and it really does a great job. So, yeah, toilet in here. The, uh, the black stone here. So it's the nice contrast of wood and stone and then the textures of having the, uh, the little pebble stone uh, next to the smooth black stone. I really like that a lot. We've got also a giant mirror wall, so um, a lot of sense of space, of light, tons of natural light, and I think, I think here we also have um, we have doors out to the daybed. So what we could actually do is bring up these blinds and open up the doors and have access to the daybed. When you access the shower, you've got shower here, and then this has got to be probably one of the best views from a shower I've ever seen. Yeah, yeah, that's the that's the best view I've ever seen from a shower. So <laughs> look forward to that. You're staying here. All right, so uh, there's one more area uh, that's part of this bedroom, which is the wardrobe and dressing area, which is behind the bed here. So we've got a uh, nice space to get dressed. We've got a lot of closet space, and then also uh, I really like this outdoor uh, you know, spot with the trees and a, a wall hanging of stone and. Uh, a lot of natural light coming through. So uh, let's go ahead and see what the other bedrooms look like. Uh, follow me. All right. And you know, I just realized that we've got a bit of a walk to get to the other bedrooms and we'll go by the kitchen. Let's look at the kitchen first and then we'll see the master bedroom and the other guest bedroom. Now this is a spot this villa comes with its own personal chef, so this isn't so much an area that you'll be hanging out in because you'll be in your living area uh, getting your drinks and your food. But uh, this kitchen is built to serve a lot of people. Uh, this is the perfect spot for weddings, um, so there's a lot of space. It's industrial. Uh, it's you know, it's set up to handle a huge capacity. Yeah, so certainly a kitchen built built for function. So I come along here. I'm now walking next to the library, which can be 
converted into a fourth bedroom if the, uh, if the guests need it. So, but I love this space, you know, it's still open, it's still cozy, it's still got amazing furnishings to it. So this is, uh, you know, can be used as an office, library. And again, this villa has a nice openness to it. We've got glass and windows everywhere. Everything flows together with nature. And we've got an atrium area here, which just has a lone tree that sticks out through the roof. And it's uh, very, very cool. So, so we've got a guest bathroom. And again, we've got the openness, this big open counter space with the sink. So a uh, nice full big wall of mirror space here. And then uh, basically like a toilet stall. So it, it has a, almost a slight commercial feel to it. But I also like how vibrant the colors are. You know, so when you have guests, you really feel you feel welcomed here. Um, it does have actually a double stalls, so uh, multiple people can be using the restroom at the same time. I also just noticed that we've got this painted bamboo ceiling that matches the tile work, so it's a, it's a very friendly spot for your guests when you have your big event here. I think that's about it for the guest bathroom. Let's walk across the courtyard and see the master bedroom. As I come out, I also want to mention there's actually private staff housing as well. So in the in the back end here, we've got a whole separate section that's uh, just for the staff. So so you know we've been taking the pathways most of the time. I want to enjoy this space a little bit more and walk through the courtyard to the rest of this complex. So let's take a look at this bedroom. I believe this is the guest, and then we've got the master over here. But since we're right here, uh, let's let's see this guest bedroom. And again, oh man, I just I love how everything is just multi-leveled here. It just gives such a dynamic sense of space. And, uh, and wow, you're really on your own. You really have some privacy over here, holy cow. I walk down here, I mean, I, I know I'm in something secluded, private, luxurious. I have, we're kind of sitting over on an edge here. Uh, so we get to see down into this uh, bit of a ravine and we've got trees all around, but yet we also have glass that goes into the bedroom. So immediately we have that indoor outdoor connection of, uh, of the space with nature outside. So I come in here and uh, we've got a twin bed set up. So this is the place for kids. It's a place, it's also quiet here. So you'd want to be careful because I feel like the kids can cause a lot of problems down here and you would never know it because it is so private. Um, so, so uh, mind everything going on here. But I'll tell you what, the bedroom just continues over into this huge bathroom. Um, we've got the wardrobe and dressing area here with tons and tons of closet space and uh, nice cozy lighting. So I also like that too. This villa has really utilized light in the best way. So the shower here is, uh, it's got a step down into, uh, it's wood, it's got a wood floor, but we've got black flat stone. And then we also have like river stone, uh, round river stone as the two walls here. So we've got a ton of texture, we've got glass. Um, so there's just a lot of movement through here, but then also we've got an open area, right? So we've got a glass divider, but yet we have a couple of open spaces and it just adds to the design effect of, uh, of what this bathroom has. So again, we've got the big countertop space, but then the bathtub is built into it. You know, So we've got a bathtub built into the bathroom counter. I just wanna run around this place. I don't even know what else to do here. It's so cool. Different steps and levels. We've got the, you know, the natural rock stepping up to uh, both the counter space and the bathtub. So uh, <laughs> if I were here right now, if I had my toothbrush, I'd probably be taking a bath and then brushing my teeth at the same time, standing up here, uh, feeling like king of the world in this villa. So, and then we've got windows all around with the bamboo. So really nice texture, nature in combination with uh, just luxury all over the place and, um, and glass and these mirrors and stuff. So, so if I look back here, then we've got the toilet area right here. And uh... all right, so we, as we walk back through the bedroom, I'm not quite done yet because we also have this balcony area. And, uh, and I also like this, this little reading nook over here. Mm, it's just, I've got high quality woodwork all around. It is uh, just the finishings are top of the line. So, you know, as I'm coming out here, there's just, there's always design elements everywhere in a, a well-executed villa, right? And we have the little uh, rock, you know, the small white stones at the bottom here. 
with the white stone hanging. And then we've got a cool kind of a lattice thing that's uh, on the ceiling here. And it looks like we can also uh, attach some, uh, some blinds over here as well. But this is, uh, you know, how cool is that? This thing is, you know, this is just a place to sit, right? Put a, have your chair sitting out here and listen to the ocean, watch the birds, look at the flowers. Uh, everything is, is really connected well with nature out here. I love it. I absolutely love it. So, all right, I'm gonna go ahead and walk back and let's uh, see the master bedroom. And then um, we'll take a look at the pool area. All right, so I'm making a uh, little hike back up here to the main common grounds. And now we're gonna uh, take a trip down some stairs to the master bedroom that, and this feels like a, a grand entrance already. You know, we've got uh, some lighting on the sides, the nice white stone. As I get down to this lower area here, uh, we have our own private lawn for the master bedroom area. So we're, uh, we're in a really exclusive space down here. Um, I like the little nook I'm sure this has got some cool lighting at night um, with the river rock inside. We've got, again, our own private uh, deck area with a daybed, uh, an elevated daybed. The master bedroom, again, I don't, I don't even want to look at this yet because I just still want to get a sense of this space that I'm in because it is so exquisite. And now, uh, the master bedroom, wow, that's a wall of glass. Holy cow. So we've got just glass everywhere, windows, doors, massive sliding doors. Yeah, let's go ahead and hop in. As I open these massive doors, um, I'm greeted by a really cozy feel of a, a lot of wood and then levels, right? So this, this space is, uh, is incredible. And I can tell there's, uh, there's some interesting parts about this space. So, so we've, first of all, we've got the bed front and center with the view outside. You can see a bit of the ocean here. You can see the, the immaculately uh, pruned garden in front. We've got a nice sound of the waves. I'm sure that if we shut this door, it's gonna get really quiet. Which I don't wanna break anything. But yeah, once we close it all the way, uh, super quiet. So you're just, you're really in a peaceful place over here. Now, as I step up, so we've got a lot of steps in this bathroom, so I can step up to the main area. Uh, before I do that, we've got a little couch, right? So we've got a couch seating area with a desk. Let's give that a little test here. And uh, it's a nice, nice squishy couch. I appreciate that. And uh, this is this is cozy. So from here, you can hang out, you can do some work, relax, whatever. Everything's closed off. You can close it all off. But if we slide it over, then you've got the ultimate lounge area. So we have a uh, built-in um, seating area, actually two of them one on either side of the bathtub. And again, we've got this large bathroom counter uh, with a tub sunken inside. So come up here and take a look at this. This is such an epic space. So yeah, just the space with the uh, massive counter, bathtub in the middle. We've got our lounge uh, lounge spots right here. And then this also opens up to the deck. So, so as you're uh, crawling up to take a bath, you know, get out of your bath, put up your blinds and go hang out. On, uh, on the deck area, these doors open. So you actually have access to your daybed from your climbable bathtub countertop. I think it's so cool. All right, so I come outside and we've got another private uh, deck area. So as we're out here, we just have our own private deck space. Uh, lots of trees around, ocean sounds coming in. So you prop this op open as you want to listen to the listen to the waves crash and uh, take a bath and just hang out for a while. I mean, it's, it's set up for that. So, oh, we also have an outdoor shower here. So if you feel so inclined, uh, I think that's, there you go. So, so indoor, outdoor, whatever you want to do, whatever your mood may be here, um, it's available. Let's check out the rest of the master bedroom and then head over to the pool area and the lawn and see the, uh, the amazing view that we've been seeing all throughout this villa here. So I just noticed something. I always love the little, uh, uh, just the unique little things that you find. And they've got a couple uh, glass balls uh, sunken in here. So I don't know, it's just kind of something different, right? So um, it's the little things in life, guys. It's the little things in life. Uh, this is a very big thing. So let's enjoy this giant space. That's also the walk-in closet area. Uh, lots of shelf space, lots of closet space, and then a, a big full mirror here. So, so we do have some beach access just outside this bedroom, but we're also right next to the pool. So 
Let's have a look at the pool area and the main deck first, uh, and then we'll, we'll take a look at what this beach access involves. So I'm just coming around the hill here from the master bedroom, and uh, now we're here at the infinity pool. So nice, we've got the Riverstone pool. It's got a really nice touch of bright blue to it. And then uh, it's not so deep. We probably won't be testing out the softness of the water today by jumping in the pool today. So as we come around here, we've got a couple, uh, a couple double person day beds that have their own you know, kind of rock slab area, which is uh, just gives a, a nice cool, you know, gives a cool feature to this whole space. Uh, we also have some day beds over here on the deck, but uh, before I talk about that, also, you know, look at this ex just massive lawn area. You know, the this villa is set up to handle quite a few guests, uh, especially for weddings. You know, Bali is one of the, uh, the best places in the world to hold a wedding, and here's why. You know, we have this amazing view, this amazing area, and we're just in this extremely exclusive place. So um, now come, come check out the rest of the deck so you can finally enjoy uh, this view, which is why you're gonna come to this villa in the first place. Um, this is it. So this is where you're gonna hang out. This is where you're gonna spend all day here because we've got day beds, we've got personal chefs, we have an infinity pool, we have black sand and a rocky point outcropping in front with waves. Like this is, uh, this is as good as you can ask for, so. So speaking of the beach, let's go check it out. I wanna see what this beach access includes. So this is the beach access. It is private, it is exclusive to this villa. And, uh, and it's also, looks like it's not too far. So this should be a, a short walk. And they've set it up real nice with uh, black stone steps. You know, everything's just so well kept here and well put together. And uh, yeah, and we're right here. So we've got a, a little gate, a little bamboo gate. This is so epic. Uh, I'm the only person out here. Take a look. It doesn't matter if I'm wearing white shoes on this black sand beach, because there's nobody out here to judge me. I have my own private beach access. Uh, this, is, this is insane, so welcome to Bali. All right, so I really like what they've done with the black sand here and the white flex in it. I'm just kidding around. So uh, I want you to see where we just came from is cliffside. Like how, how awesome is this? Cliffside all around, you're at the top. I mean, this is like, this is an exclusive property, guys. Well, I think that's it. You saw the beach access, you saw the pool, you saw the amazing courtyards. Uh, for me, it's been a real pleasure to see Villa Tatangan. I hope you enjoyed it as well. Now, if you're interested in renting Tatangan or booking an event there, we're gonna leave some more information below where you can get in touch with the Lux Nomad. Uh, again, we massively appreciate them letting us tour this villa, uh, but they'll be happy to talk to you uh, about some more information. Now also, if you're looking for more information about building your own villa here, that's what we can help you out with. So here at Bali Texture, we specialize in villa design, development, and marketing. And we're gonna leave a link below so you can get in touch with us for more information there too. So I think that does it. Uh, I don't really wanna go home today. I just kinda wanna stay here, but uh, that's it. Um, make sure you like and subscribe for future Villa videos. We're trying to put them out every week. Uh, my name's Trevor Holly here in Bali, and we'll see you again on another Bali Texture property tour. Cheers.